Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. So, if you're new, welcome. Welcome, girl. This is what she does. Come winter, I decorate for winter. Christmas, throw a tree in my room. My bedding is normally white. Come uh, spring, I like to lighten up things, make it airy, and just, you know, switch out the accent colors. And come fall, y'all already know, it was this dark, beautiful... What color is this? I don't even know what color this is. This is so freaking pretty. I love this color. I'm thinking about putting this color downstairs so I can keep that color out uh, for the winter months. But yeah, I did a little shopping. There's a whole picture behind me. I'm going to show you the picture in a little bit. Actually, let me move it. I picked this picture up today. I actually ran a Ross to look for something else. And I saw this long picture and I was like, oh my God. And it was... Um, $59. Like, that's it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put this above my bed. I've been looking for a picture. I just couldn't find something I really wanted for like my empty wall over there. But um, actually, I might go back and get the other one that looks like this. that's shorter. Um, Yeah. It'll go above my bed like that. It looks so big. Now, mind you, I have a king size bed. So that picture is pretty long. But it'll go up, up uh, above my bed in a few, in a few minutes. Not right now. All right. So, uh, I want to check in with you guys and see what you've been buying for the holiday season. I know it's a lot of sales going on. I just checked out Macy's. Macy's has um, quite a bit of fragrances on sale, as well as like some um, beautiful dresses, like party holiday dresses. I did see that uh, Black Opium Intense was $62. Plus, you got like this gift set that went with it. That was pretty cool for like $2. Girl's crazy. Uh, my friend got on that deal yesterday. I didn't get on it because I was busy doing some else. Then when I went to log in today, I was like, oh my God. The fragrance is still on sale, <laughs> but the gift set is gone. Um, they got YSL gift sets, like the fragrance plus the travel sprays, like 70 bucks. Like this is crazy. This is full size bottle. So check out Macy's. Um, if you have a car for Macy's, it's even better because you're going to earn points back or whatever and dollars on the fragrances that you buy. And if you don't, girl, it's still a good deal. Like half the price good deal. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, I did get a package in on hmm, two, three days ago when we got back from out of town. I had a package from Shapewear. I went online to Shapewear and I ordered the girls bras let me tell you not only do they have bras on sale they're giving a million dollars worth of products during the holiday like every time you buy some you enter in you can enter in all these giveaways they, they're literally giving stuff away all day every day um the tights that they have now remember these tights that i did the giveaway on um we wore these for the football game when we went to see garrick right under our tights because it's bleachers at uh southern and um girl it was like 39 degrees if it wasn't for us wearing these tights underneath our clothes we probably would have froze on those bleachers i not only like these tights for snatching me um and making me feel like secure because these are just regular tights you can wear like you know with a little design on it like like your pants or whatever but i wore these under my um adidas joggers right and these things saved me. And y'all know it has this little gripper. So if you can get these on their Black Friday deals, go get it now. I'm going to put a little uh, clips here. But they do have um, brown now, which is like our skin tone, like my skin tone. The girls uh, wear the beige, like under tank top undershirt things, whatever. I've ordered those for them. Now, they don't need it for sucking in or anything like that. But... I like for them to have them for when they have like those really short cropped um, sweat tops. So I bought those for them and a ton of bras. And I just so happened to see the pants were on sale. And I was like, let me get Penny a small pair. These pants actually really do stretch. So I did order the girls smalls in these. So they can have them like when they're at the bus stop and it's cold. Or if they just want to wear these as tights with their joggers, uh, sweat tops or whatever, they can wear them. But they're not only secure... Like, for us who need to, like, uh, hide the lumps and bumps, right? So, you like, but they're also warm, girl. I love these. So, shout out to the winner who won these last month. Because, baby, let me tell you. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, I did order some more stuff. Um, and they sent me some stuff because I want to do another giveaway. They have them, like I told you, in brown now. White, cream color. 
The brown has been going so fast because it's literally like a brown girl's nude and it's beautiful. So it just looks like you're naked. Okay? <laughs> naked but better. I'm not going to open this, right? Because this is the tear proof shaping tights. I'm going to put this into my 12 days of Christmas. And we're going to do, I'm going to get this away and something else to this from um, Shaper Mint. But um, these are the tights. I'm going to get a pair of my, um, my drawer. So I have several of these. And actually, I told Tara, Tara asked me to order some of these for when she wears her Ugg boots with her long sweater dresses. So I'm going to order these too because the sale right now is ridiculous. Let me tell you. I know some of y'all like to wear that other one by your girl and her and her sisters. But I'm telling y'all, that stuff is expensive. And when I compare the two, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed and I am okay with Shaper Mint. Their price is about, what, 20, 15% of the cost of that other stuff? Man, please. So these are, um, it just says Tear Proof Shaping Tights. I haven't worn this pair. This is a, a actual large. And so I would say a large uh, will suck in an extra large person. And then a large person, it would just fit really nicely on you, right? But it has like this... You see this? Oh, it's going to suck you in all the way up into this area. So the butt and everything. Now, it doesn't have like that booty shape that some of y'all like where the booty's out. So if you feel like you're already flat, no one be flat and you might not like them. But for the most part, so they're like opaque tights. You see this? Y'all, I love this. Because I used to get the ones that would be on sale at uh, Walgreens every year, two for 10, something like that. And I still like them, which I'll get them for the girls. But, um... See my nails? They're just tear free. <laughs> I love these. So I'm definitely going to add this to 12 Days of Christmas. So stay tuned for that. This is the one I have never had. This is the waist, um, high waist uh, shaper panty. I've never ordered this one from them. So I want to try this one. Let y'all know what I think. But for those who want the butt cut out, it does have that. So you don't have a flat butt um, flatten when you're trying to flatten your tummy. You do have that option on these. Um, and then they have this right here. What did I order? Girl, I ordered extra large. I ordered the wrong size. Or did they send this to me? They might have sent this to me. Girl, why does it look like... Like this might fit me. <laughs> Ew. I don't want... I, let me see if it's another one in here. I don't want to try it on and it... Um, and I could give it away. But can you see the design right here where it's thicker in the middle and then lighter on the sides with the tummy? It's going to suck in this part. You see this? Wow. That's the sticky tape at the top so it doesn't roll down on you. Did I order this? Why does it look so little? Girl, this is going to snatch somebody in. This is going to make you look like a whole different human being. Hey, we're going to decorate my room together. So this video will be a little, like, a little lengthy. Um, yeah, let's see what's in here. Because, girl, I've ordered stuff. They've sent me stuff. But I normally order for the girls. I don't let them send me stuff for the girls. I just pay for their stuff because it's so cheap. Um, Let's see. Oh, they got a little coupon. Come with your book and everything. So, you get extra discount. The Body Positive Edition Movers and Shapers. And it's a free surprise inside. This is the brown I'm talking about. You see, this brown was new. So, they have it in a bra. They have it in a panty and the tights now. I love that. Oh. See what we got in these bags. And if I try something on, you'll see it here. But y'all have seen me try this stuff on. This is the brown frame. This is the brown. What size are these? See, this is medium large. This is this is my size. It don't look like it's my size. When I put it on, you'll see. This is the brown that I would love to wear under white all the time. Right? This is the brown. And it does have your sticky on the inside. This is it. But these are my favorite anyway. I wear these a lot. The black ones. So I'm keeping these. We'll try these on for y'all. Let me put this here so I don't forget. Um, what is this? Because I don't want to open it and I'm giving away. High waisted shaping leggings. What size are these? Um, next time I try to order larger sizes for y'all for the giveaways. Um, oh yeah, this is the new color. So this is that olive green color. Y'all remember I had some tights like this from um What's her name? Lululemon. And girl, they all this right here got real thin. But you see how thick this is? This is not getting thin. This is a really nice, thick, hydrocellulite material. I wear those, I wear these tights all the time now. 
the black tights i wear them all the time they're just like a really nice got a little design on um oh uh, these are the tops like i ordered for the girls i told you all y'all know the uh shaper mint um undershirts let's keep that shape and has the lumps and bumps on the side so i didn't have one in cream so we got the one in cream now i have white and black the girls have uh white oh my god they sent me the burgundy okay so i have the burgundy pair so i'm good i just need the brown pair and these tights and i'm good and this is what you're gonna send me in <laughs> all winter it's gonna be these tights you can tell i, I just had these all yesterday y'all sorry but yeah y'all gonna see me they, they're so freaking comfortable like i don't know how to describe it it's finished well on the ends these are so comfortable but at the same time they suck you in so you know you know when you wear your cute little Christmas sweater with your boots and you better look cute, but your wall the short of your legs, this is what you need to be wearing. I'm just saying. Save your coins, girl, and go to shapermint.com. Y'all know how I feel about it. So let's get started on this tree. Oh man. And this whole bedding. All this is about to go. So I'll say goodbye to the fall bedding. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. We will see you next fall. Um, now, one thing I have to say is that um, I did buy some sheets from Costco a while ago. The sheets that y'all love in that little black girl Costco group. Y'all love these sheets. I think they were regular like $50 or something. They was on sale one day. And y'all convinced me to get these sheets. Now, I think the sheets are good. I think the material is good, right? When you've, when you've slept on 100% bamboo sheets, and yeah, they're $120, $30, nothing in life compares to those sheets. Like, nothing compares to how soft and how beautiful these sheets feel to me. To the point when I, walk, when I bought these, I washed them and put them on my bed. I bought these in gray, this, like, funny-looking blue color and white. And I washed them, I put them on my bed, and, girl, it was, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. I was, like... Uh-uh. So I took the sheets off and put my other sheets back on. But they're not going to go with what I'm trying to do for the holiday. So they might. I mean, I'm going to do it for the video. If I take these off, I take them off. I still like the sheets. Like the girls love their sheets just like this uh, from um, Costco. I don't know. Let me see if the tag is still inside. But, um, y'all, I was like, oh, this is not the same. It's called Pure Earth. And it's 100% cotton. It's this one right here. Y'all love these sheets. And I think they're thick and they're really good quality. I think they're really good, but it's not the same. It's just not the same. So I'm kind of spoiled with that. But I don't I don't want to spend $120 on sheets right now. So I'm not. All right. So first things first. What are we going to do first? We can't really make up the bed. We're going to make up some of the bed because I'm waiting on my um, duvet to um, not be so wrinkled and dry. So let's put the tree together that we bought for Christopher originally. That tree right there because the tree we I normally use in my bedroom is in Tara's and in Tara's tree is on the floor over here because we can't find the legs to it to stand. I don't know. I'm going to have to order one so or just donate that tree. So I'm going to put this one up. It already has lights on it. It's a pencil tree. It's probably not as fabulous honey as the trees we've had in the past but we're going to make it fabulous. Okay. So let's get some music going. Um, and just decorate and hopefully this video won't be too too long and y'all can actually enjoy it and see like everything I do I'm probably gonna go too far out in here I only have a few things I want to decorate on my nightstand for the most part it's kind of want to clean and this empty wall right here um I think I'm gonna go back to Ross Ross has so many pictures if I can find something that's got to look like the colors in that in there then I'll just put that right there I just feel like the wall is so huge I need a bigger picture and that's why i just haven't bought anything yeah so no yeah, that's it over here is what this looks like over here it's the same stuff nothing's really changed in my room so let me show y'all before this is where the bench is right now now remember i got this bench from amazon now everything in my room is linked down below the mirrors came from kirkland's these nightstands, which are really accent cabinets, came from a random furniture store. I go online and I look up furniture companies and I find out what companies sell their products in stores. Like um, this one is. Yeah. Coaster. 
So my nice stands are from Coaster. I don't know if they still have them. I think they have like that entertainment thing. They're really not nice stands. They're accent cabinets, like I said. My bed is from Coaster. C-O-A-S-T-E-R or something like that. Or C-O-S-T-E-R furniture. It is a king size bed. They no longer make this particular one. But they make one that's similar, right? Girl, my bed was cheap. $500, y'all. Y'all remember when I got my bed? I was excited. Um, and so I have two of those. So because my bed is big and because I have a, a you know, a larger master bedroom, I always feel like I never like nightstands. I always feel like accent cabinets is the size that I would need, um, like a small chest that, for a size. You know what I'm saying? For like that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right. So right now, this is what's on here. My candle, which I've been burning. I've been trying to get another one. Um, this is my Jasmine Rouge. Y'all love this candle. So we'll probably move her. I don't know if we're going to move her or not. We'll see. But for the most part, this is what everything looks like. Um, what else we got over here? Yeah, this, let me move this back. And these mirrors, oh, these mirrors did not come from Kirkland's. I'm so sorry. These movies, these mirrors came from the at-home store. It's like a plasticky thing. It looks like it's metal, but it's not. It's plastic. They were like $29, $39 a piece. So that's what those are. I know people have asked me in the past about those mirrors. Of course, the picture just came from Ross. Another one of those mirrors. Um, this pillow came from, I don't know, was it Home Good or Ross? I don't know. I just showed it to y'all not too long ago. This is so pretty. So beautiful. Most of my pillows are pillow covers. I just recover them. These did come from the at-home store, though. If y'all remember, that came from the at-home store, and the bloomers came from the at-home store. They were expensive, though. It was like $40 a piece, child. But they, they last forever, right? Um, What else? Because I'm not going to... I'm going to let music play as I decorate, so I'm, not, I'm probably not going to talk too much. So I just want to tell you where everything comes from now. This white bedding cover came from Ross, I believe. I just showed this to you recently. Hold on. The pillow came from Ross. It was $9.99. You'll see this on my bed today. This let it snow pillow. Um, this is a queen size. Is it queen? Yes, yeah, a queen size uh, like bedding. It was $29. This came from Ross. So this is pretty. You'll see that on my bed. What else? This is going downstairs. I'm going to put some cash downstairs because this is so luxe. I need more than one of these though. Um, what else? This actual blue, pretty blue, like, I don't know what color this is, gray blue. This came from Home Goods. This might have been $59, though, girl. This, this wasn't cheap. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. This was not cheap. Um, this is old. I've got this from TJ Maxx and Home Goods maybe 10 years ago. I've had this for at least 10 and 12 years, way before Christopher was born. Um, what else is in here that y'all want to know? Let's get over here. These lamps came from Ross a couple years ago. They were cheap. They were like 29 bucks. So really and truly, um, I love high-end stuff. Don't get me wrong. I think it's beautiful. I think some stuff I see high-end, I think, oh my God, it's gorgeous or whatever. So I'll pick up a thing here and there. But for the most part, most of my stuff in my room is very affordable. Um, Ross Marshall, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Amazon, you know, that kind of thing. I just love affordable things. So, yeah, these ladies came from Burlington. I only go to Burlington like a couple times a year. If I find one, I think, I think this one was like $5.99 when I found her or something. People were asking me about her, but I don't go to Burlington like that. So, I won't be going back, you know, unless I just have to. And it's like this kind of stuff, you know, Ross or whatever. So, yeah, um, this dresser right here was a offer up sign it was 40 bucks about christopher's 10 11 years ago maybe 10 years ago right because he was a baby and it was brown and then i painted it gray and then i painted it black it was downstairs as a tv stand but then i moved it up here because i realized my closet was overpacked and i needed a space in my closet for like other stuff <laughs> I just I was overwhelmed with my closet and I was so overwhelmed with this the closet system that drawer system from Alpha I don't like it I like it for organizing stuff crafts and stuff but not for clothing so I feel like the deep drawers didn't serve a purpose 
but these drawers serve like a purpose and each drawer you know is organized or whatever so i will except for that one because i just dug out all that shape and stuff out of that one but um yeah so i just had that up here um what else would y'all ask hold on um nothing special this is my perfume tray for the week i did a tiktok uh the other day on what's all on this tray i'll put that in here so you can see but this is my tray for like the week that is some fragrances i've been wearing actually today i have on armani c because i was on the phone with a friend of mine she was like girl i smell good i was like what you smell like girl and she was like i'm walking the neighborhood this morning and i smell good everybody's passing me saying how much how much i smell delicious i was like oh I want to smell delicious too. So I went in my cabinet and pulled out um, C. And so this is what I'm smelling like this morning. So I'm going to put this over here. Because really and truly, really and truly, I'm cheating. Because I'm supposed to only wear what's on my tray. So yeah, that's what I have on today. Um, my elephants. Y'all know I love elephants. And then. Uh, these are from Burlington by five, six years ago. So people ask me about elephants all the time. I have a lot of elephants in the house. Um, I've always loved elephants as a child. It's just like um, people who collect dolls or people who collect um, jewelry, rocks, or whatever you collect, right? I collect elephants. I like elephants. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was supposed to pick up an elephant diamond bracelet today that I paid for this at the counter. I went to the store and got everything but that. I got to go back to the store when I get done with y'all. My bracelet is at the store. Oh my God. Ordered and had to ship and it's at the store. Okay. Anyway. All right. So let's get started. Let's get this stuff off this bed, friend. Whew. Let's get it going. Let's get it popping. I'm about to turn on um, probably Erica Badu. So if you see me get my little, just know I'm jamming. <laughs> It's lunchtime. <laughs> Girl. That's what happened on eat breakfast. And oh, I had some stuff in the dryer. I, I need for this, my pillow. And of course, I'm trying to get the wrinkles out of that. Bedding. I have cauliflower pizza, stuffed mushrooms from Oil D, a mini, mini spinach salad with calamata olives on top. And that's what I'm about to eat. And watch TV. And then get back to doing that. I'm not gonna even eat all this. My, my y'all know how it is. My eyes are always bigger than my stomach, but yeah. So um, mm, mm, So these are stuffed mushrooms from Aldi. I think it has like parmesan, some kind of cheese, and like um artichoke, or maybe what's the other one's called? Asparagus, something like that, right? That's in here. So good. And then I sprinkle on top my um, my truffle parmesan with the black pepper I got from Costco on sale. I think I showed y'all. So good. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. Y'all know I don't like eating on camera. So I'm about to turn this off. Eat about half of this. Look at this. Y'all know I'm not a cheese person. But I like parmesan. Or oh, what's the other cheese? I like the white cheese. Is it Parmesan or shredded Parmesan? <laughs> I think that's the only cheese I like. But this is so good. I love mushrooms, though. So, I'm going to eat some of this. And like I said, this is what the cauliflower pizza looks like that you get from Aldi. When you put it in the air fryer, that's what it looks like. So, don't be scared to try something new if you've never tried it. It's really good. Um, It's healthier for you. And it just tastes like crust. You know, all this cheese ain't healthy. I normally, y'all know I normally scrape the top off and put my own stuff, but this time, I was like, girl, she hungry. So I'm gonna have this and some water. <clears throat> and maybe while that stuff is in a dryer, I'll put up the tree. You know, that's what I'm gonna do.
With this tree that I picked up from Michael's, I actually have to fluff this tree. It doesn't fall like the normal trees. So I need to fluff this. Give me a minute. All right, so that's the tree. That's 49 at Michael's, the pencil tree. It's okay. I don't really like it because it's little, but I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna zhuzh it up and make it beautiful, right? That's what we do. We improvise. I think once I put a picture here on the wall, I'll feel a bit better. Um, I'm gonna go back and get those pictures. Um, it looks tiny. Almost like I need one in each corner. It looks tiny. It looks tiny. <laughs> tiny. Why is she so tiny? Yeah, it's going to be a long video. I have a bin full of stuff. So I did pick these up. I showed you all the other day from the at-home store. They were nine. I did pick these up. They were supposed to go in my room, so they probably will. Um, this going in the attic. This is my bin for my room. I don't think I have them all. I have these really pretty balls too. I'm going to add to the tree. Not too many of them. I have a bunch of silver. This normally goes... Oops, it's kind of broken. This normally goes in my tree somehow. These like antlers, really pretty, blingy, thingamajigs. I'm just going to set it all out and then go for that. Go from there. I'm not going to use this ribbon. I think I'm going to use this ribbon for gifts this year. This is more ribbon that I buy either, yeah, from Costco, I'm sure. Um, so for sure. What's Kirkland? Costco or Sam's? But this is so pretty. Yeah, so um, this tree ain't gonna baby hold that ribbon, honey. Um, what else we got in here? I did, um, whoop. I have a couple of these. I can put on here too. Pretty, pretty, blingy. I don't know where this stuff comes from. It's old, but it still works. Um, I'm just not going to do a lot of those balls. I I'm not in the mood for all that. Ooh, this would be pretty. I think I did these last year. All these little teardrops. You get these in a pack from Hobby Lobby. We'll see. So about five years ago, six years ago, I did a video on here where I found these little cheap napkin rings at Dollar Tree. And then I found these dollar ornaments at um, Hobby Lobby and I just broke them and glued them on for napkin rings. Y'all remember this? When I blinged out napkin rings? <laughs> That's been a long time. She been doing this for a while, friend. I just took like random ornament things and hot glued them on. Look how cute that is. So, since then, I am. That's when you would do like an upload, then the next day someone else would do the same thing you did. It was crazy then. They still do it, and they don't credit you when they do it. It's normally the bigger channels. 